Numerous attempts to regenerate the Catholic Church had been made for many years. Unlike medieval reform movements like the Waldensians, the Cathars and the Hussites, Lutheranism triumphed because it was in line with the social and cultural changes of the time and was supported by several German princes keen to escape from papal taxation and rule. The split first opened up by Luther, who made his 95 Theses public at Wittenberg in 1517, widened lap rapidly. The movement, known as the Protestant Reformation, ended in breakup with Rome and religious conflicts, which also reflected social and political tensions and fueled the long cycle of violence and war in Europe. The reform advocated by Luther was based on five theological principles or solae. First, the Bible in the vernacular as the sole source of doctrine. Second, salvation by faith alone. Third, the justification of salvation by God's grace alone in opposition to the belief in the role of good works. Fourth, the elimination of any mediator between God and men except Jesus Christ as opposed to the intercession of the saints. And fifth, the glorification of God alone, worshipping no other being, object or symbol. In short, Luther questioned both the mediating role of the church and papal authority. To this was added criticism of the excesses of the curia and the denouncement of the sale of indulgences to raise money. The Protestant reformers shared certain common characteristics such as humanistic scholarship and especially the legacy of the so-called Brethren of the Common Life, a spiritual movement forged in the Netherlands toward the end of the 14th century, which defended a more genuine personal religious experience, known as the Debotium Moderna. In practice, however, the Reformation led to the emergence of a number of Protestant movements, each of which carried the imprint of its own reformer, whether Luther, Calvin, Zwingli or some other figure. The Axbook Confession is the name given to the document written by Philip Melanchthon, a friend and follower of Luther, and presented at the Diet of Augsburg in 1530, convened at the behest of the Emperor Charles V. Its purpose was to set out the Lutheran doctrine while also seeking compromise with the Roman Church, but in this endeavor it failed completely. The Emperor commissioned its refutation, and Luther himself considered it excessively submissive. However, the Augsburg Confession continues to exercise its influence even today and can be considered a key document in shaping the Lutheran Church. In the first half of the 16th century, Emperor Charles V fought Lutheranism unsuccessfully in the lands of the Holy Roman Empire. The Peace of Augsburg in 1555 confirmed the legal division of the Christendom within the empire, according to the pragmatic principle that the religion of the ruler should be that of the subject. Half a century later, in the territories of the central branch of the House of Austria, Emperor Ferdinand II successfully carried out a harsh campaign of re-Catholicization with the support of the Jesuits and other religious orders. By 1520, the differences between Protestants and the Roman Church had become unsummonable. The Church's response was not only reactive as the term Counter-Reformation might suggest, but also in its way renewing. That is why nowadays this reaction is known as the Catholic Reformation. 
Together, the founding of new religious orders, including the Jesuits, the establishment in 1542 of the Roman Inquisition to eliminate any dissents, the repressive activity of inquisitorial tribunals in various parts of Europe, the formulation of the Index of Prohibited Books, which included the works of Erasmus and the Council of Trent, all served to channel the institution and doctrinal reorganization of a church determined to ensure that its authority and influence prevailed. The reaction of the Roman Catholic hierarchy to the Protestant Reformation was not immediate. Charles V, the emperor, urged the Pope to convene a council on German soil, but Rome was reluctant to agree. Finally, the meeting was called in Trent, inside the empire but on Italian soil. Over the nearly 20 years that the council took to complete its work, the Catholic religion was reformulated. Besides theologically defining the Holy Trinity, the mystery of the Eucharist, the condition of the Virgin Mary, the role of the saints, and so on, the Council also claimed to reorganize the Church and eradicate excesses that the institution admitted to internally. The authority of the bishop was strengthened and the periodical organization of provincial councils, diocesan synods and pastoral visits and missions would regulate parish life. 